Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornica today, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's been a while, you're probably surprised, oh my gosh, a Pokemon video. Well, you know, burnout happens. I wanted to do some other things, of course. But, you know, there was some discussion that I saw on Twitter about the fact that Lucario is going to Mega Evolve, as well as perhaps Gengar is going to get a G-Max and whatnot. And I decided, you know, why, why not? Let's go back, let's talk about some Pokemon. You know, might not do this all the time, but when something like this pops up and people have huge debates about them, why not we just delve right into it and talk about it? Obviously, while I'm talking, post in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings about Mega Lucario and all that. But from what I understand is that it's been two generations, right? About, what, six to eight years, maybe even more after the whole XY series, and then now they give him a Mega Pokemon? And not just that, but they give us a Mega Pokemon that we've already seen multiple times, even earlier in the season with Karina, right? And then, you know, it's a Pokemon that's extremely popular. I mean, most of Ash's Pokemon that they gave him were just Pokemon that were really popular. I mean, they didn't really give him much of the new generation Pokemon. That's like Go. You know, Go gets all the new starters and all that. So some people are kind of upset that the fact that Ash didn't get any of like the new Pokemon really besides like Dracovic and that's it. And so that's already like a problem for a lot of people and why like they're looking at Lucario as like, oh, is Lucario going to be like the main ace? To be honest, I don't really see any of these Pokemon being like the main ace of Ash. I haven't really kept up with this series too much as maybe the rest of you. But for my thoughts, I mean, a Dragonite looks like the ace to me. I mean, Gengar, he needs to get a lot more love. I mean... I hear he's going to get a G-Max soon, perhaps, but, dude, I mean, it, which is nice. I mean, they're going to have Pikachu with the Z-Move, Gengar with the G-Max, and then, you know, Lucario with the Mega. And I, I can see what they're trying to do, you know, showing all the different, you know, gimmicks in the past games all together. Ash is using all of them in this final bout, uh, perhaps maybe the final bout of his journey, you know what I mean? Nonetheless, I think it's kind of cool that they're trying to go that way, that direction, but... Why Mega Lucario necessarily? I mean, my only issue, my problem with why I'm like not overhyped about it is because, I mean, we've just seen Lucario just so much in this series. Same thing with Charizard, you know? We had Charizard for Ash. Charizard belongs to Red, you know, and we've seen that throughout Generation 1 and 2. I mean, we've even seen it in Best Wishes, you know, Charizard comes back. I mean, Leon the Champion, instead of having a Pokemon native to the area, no, his main Pokemon is Charizard. I mean, it's all marketing, basically. It's all marketing, and they just want to show off, like, the main, most popular Pokemon to try to get people back into the series. That's kind of like what they do with Dragonite and Gengar and all that. You know, Kiawe has a Charizard, and Elan has a Charizard, and Trevor, even though he's a side character, he has a Charizard. And it's just like, a lot of these characters, they just, they have Charizard, right? And Ash loses to them, he fights with one, etc, etc. Same thing with Lucario, I mean, Karina, I mean, Ash lost to a Lucario in one Pokemon League. I mean, Karina has Lucario, and her dad has Lucario, and they, they both Mega Evolve, and we've seen Mega Lucario multiple times, like, Mega Lucario had a whole arc, but Greninja ended up being some different, you know, uh, creature all of a sudden, you know, he had a different transformation, different evolution, instead of giving Ash a Mega, and a lot of people think back then that's what Ash was going to get because in the games, Mega Lucario is like the first Mega that you get. And so that kind of makes sense now why Ash, you know, his first Mega is Lucario, but not until like two generations later. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts on, on the whole thing. Uh, I, I would prefer them just bringing back Ash Greninja, to be honest. I mean, that was the whole purpose. Uh, they didn't give him a Mega back then, uh, mainly because X or Y Pokemon I don't think had Megas. Or at least that many or something like that, but, but you know, Ash Greninja was what Ash had, but it was supposed to be more powerful than Mega Evolution. Then they eventually just transformed it into an ability that he had and ended it there. Basically said goodbye Greninja, go do some lawn mowing services, and uh, we'll probably never see you again. <laughs> But uh, now they have Mega Lucario, and it's like, okay, I can see why they brought Karina back in this series. Especially since Ash has Lucario. But it's all marketing, dudes. It's all marketing. It's just like the the fact that they, they think that showing the popular Pokemon is what's going to bring people back into the series. And that's, that's what's going on here. But anyway, guys, post in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings. Um, do you like Ash's team? Do you like Journeys? 
Do you like Gengar? Dude, I, I want them to give Gengar more love, man. I love Gengar. Dragonite, he's a freaking boss, so I think they give him a lot of love, especially since he helped defeat Iris and all that. But come on, give Gengar some love. You know, uh, they just keep focusing on these on Lucario a lot, too, and it's just like... I'm not a particular Lucario fan, but I mean I don't mind him getting a Mega Evolution because like look, what what how else is he gonna get more powerful? You know what I mean? Like that's that's the whole purpose. And I mean they had a whole movie with Lucario. That, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Like they had all these showcases of Lucario in the past, and it's like now they finally give Ash Lucario and he's gonna have a mega evolution and blah blah blah. It's all marketing. That's what it is. That's it's because Lucario is popular. That's what. That's why the team he has right now is what it is. But you guys post in the comments below your thoughts and feelings. If you guys like to see me post more Pokemon content, obviously this is the roots of my channel, and I probably should get back to it and do occasional videos on the Pokemon anime and stuff like that. Um, but I've had been trying new things because you know burnout happens, and when you do the same thing over and over again for years, it gets boring. You know what I mean? So like. You want to start trying to do new stuff. So I believe you guys could feel me on that. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I love your faces. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have stuck around this whole time and you're just like now like, Jordan, oh my God, Pokemon video, yes. Ah, then I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace off. Thank you very much.